Welcome to HostCow, my name is Jacques and this would just be an introduction video on how to use your control panel and various features within the control panel that's HostCow specific and also some preference changes and I'm also going to show you how to access the website templates within the cPanel. Right, we can start over here by registering a new domain. You can register new register new domain names by clicking on this tab. It will take you to the HostCal website. We can type in the domain name and the TLD, which is the extension. You can check if that domain domain name is available. Let's go back. This is just another tab to to transfer an existing domain name if if you're hosting it at another hosting company for whatever reason we will go on to add hosting account this is just a section to to upgrade from mini to half to full cow the next section would be your tickets it would be a list of all your tickets you've submitted to host cow to the support desk to the billing department this is to submit a new ticket to our support desk and this is to submit a new ticket to our accounts and billing department my billing profile would enable you to view all your invoices you can update contact information and you can update your billing preferences the preference preferences tab and all the tabs within this will enable you to to view a getting started wizard where it will actually explain to you various functions within the the cPanel and it will give you a very good overview of of what your accounts all about if we just for instance click on this tab it you can select your your default language you can skip this step it will just welcome you to to your hosting account and it will just give you an overview of of what the structure is like like for instance the public HTML is where all your web pages are located and this would be just be your home directory this is where you will start off if you say for instance click on file manager the public uh, FTP would just be for the public and anonymous FTP people to access these files I won't recommend anonymous FTP because then anybody once it's enabled then anybody can really FTP into this so I will leave it on disable and then you will get your public underscore HTML this is also called the, the root of, of your website so all your files will go into this section for the world or the public to, to view right um, it, it also give you a little warning over here it just tells you that you know be careful where you put files because if you put files in the home directory then say for instance website files if you put it in the home directory nobody will be able to view your website so it's very important you put it under the public underscore HTML folder because that is where the public can actually view these files or your website. You can go on to the next step. Right, this will this will go on and on and on. It just explains to you all the features within the cPanel. It's a very good introduction, very good start. I would recommend you to go through all these steps and, and just read up about it. Right, let's go back to home and you will see there's more like video tutorials where you can watch various like videos on, on, on subjects within the cPanel right you will see there's mail and a lot of videos you can view it in high or low quality let's go back to the cPanel default page you can change your cPanel password over here so should you need to change it to an easier or more difficult password you can do that here and you can update your contact information should you need to change the email address for notifications for, for disk quota or bandwidth usage if you're on our unlimited package this you don't really need this 
you can change the style of the C panel, you can change your language, and you can also create shortcuts to your C panel and webmail by dragging these links over here and just drop it. This is within Firefox and drag the webmail over there and drop it or should you need to drag it onto your desktop it will just create a shortcut for you alright let's go back to the default screen again and you will have an option here where you can change the look and feel of the existing C panel you can go back to a default screen and then we can scroll down I'm going to show you where to find the website templates there's 4450 templates you can download you will also see they are structured over here in like various different like niche markets like for instance if you're interested in, in like business templates you click on the business category and you can just hover over these thumbnails and it will bring up an image once it's loaded to just give you like a preview of of what the template would look like um, let's just hover over this one and that one and you can see you can download these templates by clicking on the download button and you can actually download it here right it will start to download for you let's go back to the home page feel free to to download these you'll see it just popped up the download so I can start by saving it I've already closed that screen so it won't save it but you can download those templates should you need to well this is this was just like an introduction to you on how to to make use of the C panel Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacques.